Well, about three years ago, mm -hmm. almost exactly three years yes. ago, we took a leap of faith and bought an Alliance RV. And at that time, Alliance was very new. Uh -huh. So that's why I call it a leap of faith. <laughs> yeah. Because we really didn't know much about the brand. No. We didn't. I mean, they had debuted at the Tampa show the year prior. There was buzz all about it. Yeah, but they really only showed a couple of floor plans yep. and nobody really knew much about the company, mm -hmm. the owners, the founders, what kind of company they would be, what kind of quality RVs that they would be turning yeah. out. So we just kind of, we were looking to get out of the Montana. Yes. And so we we're like, well, you know, we had a conversation with the, <laughs> the co-founders, Ryan yep. and Coley, and the customer service um, leader, Bill Martin, mm -hmm. and just got a good vibe. Yeah. From yeah. Alliance RV. So we bought Alliance RV, took a, a leap of faith, and then we had great experience with them, got to mm -hmm. know them very well. And then six months later, went to the our first Alliance Rally. Yeah. It was their second Alliance Rally. Mm -hmm. Their first sizable one, though. Yeah. The first one was kind of just a really small, a handful <laughs> of very new people. But so it was kind of like the, the very first real rally. Yeah. And uh, we became brand ambassadors. Yes. <laughs> we loved the brand so much we became brand ambassadors. Well, since then we've been traveling in our Alliance mm -hmm. RV. We've loved our travels and adventures, but we've had some issues. We have. We've had some issues with the RV. Doable issues though, I yeah. think. I mean, some have been major. Some more, like yes. Like slide failures, leaks, stuff that you really like I really don't want that stuff going on. Stuff that like would potentially take you off the road or have to yeah. make you alter your plans or keep you in a location for longer than you really want to because mm -hmm. you have to have work done. So it's an inconvenience when those type of things happen. And we yeah. had a lot of minor things happen too. So we had things like trim falling off, minor electrical issues. All things we had in our Montana to begin with as well. Yeah. So nothing new to us. And I think all things that happen to anybody exactly who has an rv because all rv manufacturers have these type, types of issues yes we share these issues mm -hmm. openly and honestly yes and we're ambassadors <laughs> yes but that was one of the stipulations when we talked to alliance about becoming brand ambassadors mm -hmm. one of our stipulations was we're not going to be censored correct we are going to share our experiences good bad or indifferent yeah because most ambassador programs don't allow that and that's why on youtube you won't see other brand ambassadors of other brands sharing their issues correct or saying anything negative negative about that brand because they are they're not allowed they're under contract yes they say they can't say anything bad about the brand mm -hmm. doesn't mean the bad stuff isn't happening exactly. they're just not allowed to talk about it correct Alliance RV allows us to talk about it, allows us to be transparent because they are transparent. Mm -hmm. The only stipulation that they had with us was when you have an issue, talk with us about it, we'll work through it, and then when you do the video, we'll talk about what steps we are taking mm -hmm. to make sure that that doesn't become an issue with potential other RVers. Yeah. And we are totally okay with that. Yes, we So will. when we have issues, we always have a, a very open conversation with mm -hmm. Alliance and we talk with them about it. And, and a lot of the issues that we have had have led to changes in production. Yes. And improvements, mm -hmm. which Alliance is dedicated to constantly improving. Correct. So they are always looking for new ways to improve. If they go with a vendor who is notorious for having issue after issue, they get yeah. that customer feedback and they do something about it. Yeah, they adjust. <laughs> Even like in the middle of a production yeah. year. Yeah. So you might see an Alliance RV in the same year and make and model that your friend has, and you might have some very different things going on different in your features, rig yeah. because Alliance has learned and improved to make sure that the next ally's experience is much better yeah. than the person who had the issue. And when things go wrong, everybody's always quick to blame the manufacturer they are manufacturer gets such a bad rap yeah in all of this rv issues and troubles but i mean i don't know the percentage of how often it is actually the manufacturer's fault and yeah, yeah there's some manufacturers there out are. there that do some shoddy work and even even the big name guys including alliance could do better in some things mm -hmm. you know everybody can do better so but and some companies care 
and are willing to change and improve. Yeah. And some companies are like, man, people are going to buy my rig anyway. <laughs> I don't really care. True. But manufacturers do get a bad rap, mm -hmm. and it's not always their fault. And matter of mm -hmm. fact, probably more than fifty percent of the time, it's not their fault. Yeah. They don't make the components. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they are at the mercy of these vendors like Lippert and Suburban and Coleman and Schwintech. Alliance don't make that stuff. Yeah. They install it. Yeah. But they're limited on on who they have to choose from. Exactly. I mean, okay, I want to put an air conditioner on my RV. There's only three manufacturers that make <laughs> air conditioners, and I have to choose, choose one, one of them. them. Yeah. And I have to make sure I have a good relationship with them. Mm -hmm. And I have to make sure that the price margins are right for us because yeah. we have to make yeah, money lots too. Of factors. So it's not always as simple yeah. as my air conditioner went out, what's Alliance going to do to fix it? Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and that's typically how people react. Yeah. And full-time RVing is hard on RVs, man. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm not convinced any RV is built for full-time true full-time living. I don't think so either. I don't think any it's manufacturer... It's impossible, I think. Yeah, I don't think any manufacturers figured it out, including Alliance. And I, they're probably not going to be happy that I said that, but they're getting better. Yeah, I think they're doing they're getting closer. more than the average. But you, nobody in the RV world can fix our roads. No, so the they roads won't are terrible. demolish our rigs when these massive holes are just show up. Yeah. You know? So no matter how good they are building them today, the roads are beating the hell out of them. Yes. <laughs> we should all be angry at our states for not yeah. fixing our roads good enough anymore. The difference between Alliance and the other manufacturers is the service after the sale. Yes. That is huge. Mm -hmm. So It's what mostly sold us. Well, yeah, and mostly has sold most people who own alliances yeah. because it's pretty well known out there that Alliance customer service is top notch. They're going to do the right thing. And we were concerned, just like other people who have bought alliances, mm -hmm. we were concerned that when Alliance grows, yeah. is this customer service scalable? Can they still take care of everybody as mm -hmm. they grow and get more of their RVs on the road? Are they going to be able to still address? It's easy in the first year. Yeah. When you got, you know, less than less a thousand rigs on the freaking road, <laughs> it's easy to answer yeah. all those people. But now that you got 15,000 rigs out there, yeah, it gets harder. But it has been scalable. They have been able to manage it. And they are still top notch yes. in customer service. They are transparent. Mm -hmm. They are relentless uh, in their improvement. And they have uh, a team. Well, they have like a network. Yes. Of trusted dealers and technicians across the country. And this is all provided by customer feedback. And so when a dealer or a technician does great work over and over again, mm -hmm. and they get that feedback from the customers, well, Alliance adds them to their trusted network. Yes. So then when future allies call and say, hey, I have this issue, wherever they're at in the country, they're close to that, yeah. Alliance, you know, goes onto their, their software, whatever they do, mm -hmm. and they go, okay, in your area, I have X trusted dealer that I know does great work. Yep. I'm going to send you to them and we're going to take care of you. And we personally have benefited from several that times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> several and it's quick. Yes. They will answer you. We have seen so many times on these Facebook forums and other outlets where people are mm -hmm. like, I have this issue and I can't get a hold of anybody. No one yeah. will return my calls. No one will return my emails from other brands. Yeah. And that's just not going to happen mm -mm. with Alliance. Alliance is going to going to answer you, and they're going to answer you pretty quick. Yes, maybe not as quick as you think they should, because as consumers, we're yeah. like, our issue is important, <laughs> yeah. it's serious now. Somebody should call me right away. Well, that's an unrealistic expectation that they're going to yeah. stop everything and call you. But within a day or two, you're going to yeah, get you some. Will. Within a business day or two, you're yes. going to get somebody. Twenty-four, now. forty-eight hours. Stuff absolutely. happens, and it's happened to us on like a Friday afternoon. Yeah, the worst time when they're getting ready to close and everything's going down, and we might barely skid in and get in touch with Alliance, but they're like, eh, not really much I can do for you at the moment. Yeah. But as soon as everything opens up um, on Monday, we got you covered. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the other thing is the community mm -hmm. that Alliance has built, um, which we call ourselves allies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it fits with Alliance. Mm -hmm. And that has been great, too. Has. Fantastic group of people. Yeah. And Alliance has put on these, um, like, owner empowerment courses. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, they put some of those online. They put tips and tricks on their web pages, so it'll tell you like you know how how tight to torque your 
your yeah. bolts. It'll tell you how to seal your coach, um, annual maintenance, what kind of sealant that they use, what kind of products that they mm -hmm. use for improvement. And so that community has kind of rallied around that. And yes. They've done owner empowerment with the NRVTA, mm -hmm. and some of the technicians who have graduated out of there are Alliance owners, yeah. and they're very willing mm -hmm. and able to help other allies out on the road. So the community is just like really tight. It feels like a family when yeah. you go to a rally or you go to a show. I mean, just coming up at the Tampa show, they've had like over a hundred people volunteer to come to and work help. the owner's booth. And yeah. yeah, show RVs, talk about their customer experience, talk Answer about... Answer questions yeah. people have. It's just crazy. Yeah, when you have that many people yeah. wanting to do something. And we've only been in one other brand, but in the other brand, we didn't have that. No, I didn't feel... And that forum mostly was All negative. bitching. Yeah, it really <laughs> was. Basically. And, and it just was not fun to get on. Yeah. Everybody was just negative, negative, negative. And I have told people this in person, and I've never said this on camera, but I'll say it now. The last manufacturer that we were with, they took care of us too. Yes. They fixed all of our issues. But I feel like they fixed all of our issues and took care of us because of our social media presence. Yeah. Like, well, they, they would have helped regardless, but in the manner they did... Yeah. Yes, I think because we had a presence at the time. And we had access to people with that manufacturer that not the general public has access to. Correct. Whereas with Alliance, I feel like Alliance is taking care of us just because we're Alliance owners. Yeah. And they treat us just like they would anybody else even though we are ambassadors. Our ambassador relationship really has nothing to do with how they take care of us as no. an Alliance owner. Mm -mm. Which is which is really cool. And it speaks volumes. It does. And so we built those relationships and we know the A team, we call mm -hmm. them the A team yeah. <laughs> at Alliance. Um, we know them personally. We've yeah. really gotten to know them. And that's not just because we're YouTubers or because we're ambassadors. When you go to the rallies and go to the shows, you will see any there. owner talking to the founder of the company yeah. and having a conversation and they getting will. to know each other. They take time to have but What really blew me away them. three years ago and what really made a statement to me was when we were looking at Alliance and we were thinking about getting a new rig and we met Ryan, mm -hmm. uh, who was the co-founder of Alliance, and he hands me his business card mm -hmm. with his personal phone number on it. Yeah. So I'm like, this dude is an open book. Yep. No one is going <laughs> to make a crap product that's going to have all kinds of issues <laughs> And give me their business card because if that product is crap, I am be blowing his phone, phone up. You know, and he wasn't just handing it to me. No, it's everybody. He was handing it to everybody, so it was really cool. Yes. And so we've already talked about some of Alliance's core values in here, but the biggest one to me, because I'm military, mm -hmm. and this isn't um, something to take lightly, is do the right thing. Yeah. And that's their biggest core value. Yes. It's just do the right thing. It's very simple. Yes. But and it's easy. And they do it. Mm -hmm. the The thing that I like about Alliance is they do the right thing, even when no one's watching. Yeah. Even when it's not a big a big issue that's been blasted across social media, all over the forums and stuff. If an owner calls and says, "I have this issue," they are going to do the right thing. Yes. Even if no one else ever knows about it. Yes. And that's cool. That's awesome. So if you have been deterred. Yes. From looking at Alliance RV, even from us, <laughs> inadvertently, because we have put all of our issues out there. Yes. And we've gotten comments to say, oh man, I was thinking about Alliance, but now I'm not real sure. So yeah. if you've been deterred, I would just say, give Alliance another look, give them another chance. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to the Tampa show or, or going to an RV show near you, go look at the Alliances, yeah. look at their quality. Their coaches of today are not their coaches of three years ago. And that's the thing people have to remember when we discuss our issues as well, is our rig was built at the end of 2020. Yeah. And we bought it at the Tampa show in 21. They have made numerous changes since then. So little things that are popping up for us now... Are not an issue anymore. Are not an issue in the new yeah. rigs. Yeah. They're adjusting as they go. So you can't go, oh, well their rigs just falling apart apparently yeah. no some of it's self-inflicted too oh yeah we kind of started our problem <laughs> and and it got bigger than it should have yeah we're at fault for some of the stuff that's happened but 
by no means would I ever look at somebody who has an issue with a rig and be like, I'm not buying that rig. Yeah. That's that's a crap rig. Well, and if you do it based on that, you're not going to buy an RV. No. Because well all of them get one. have issues. So go talk to an Alliance owner. Come talk to us. Go talk to a member of the A-Team. Take yeah. a tour of the factory. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's another thing. That is, is a phenomenal thing to see. It's a great tour. Um, Alliance hides nothing. Uh, and we have, we've not been on other tours, but we've heard people who have gone on other tours and then gone onto an Alliance tour and go, wow, Alliance shows show everything, everything where other manufacturers are like, oh, well, you can't, can't see, see this, this part, part or yeah. we can't show you that part. And, you know, for safety and, and liability issues, they can't take you through a tour uh, when they're in production. Mm -hmm. We have gone through a tour in production because we had to go through, you know, the safety stuff and all that stuff. But um, the general public, they'll show you everything that they can show you without actually yeah. letting you watch them build a rig but they'll take you through every station mm -hmm. and they really are an open book and they're yes. very transparent so and and no question is off the table no they'll answer everything Ask them a question. you throw at them and even if they're not comfortable with the answer <laughs> that they have or if they haven't figured it out yet they'll tell you we haven't figured that out yet yeah but we're working on it and when we do it's going to be better than it was yes so the last question that we have is, and we've been asked this because when we put out our our issue videos, people say, uh -huh. "Do you regret getting an alliance? Do you regret <laughs> being an alliance owner?" Absolutely not. No, we we know that we're going to have issues with any manufacturer, yeah. and the difference is, we know alliance is going to take care of us. They have proven and continually mm -hmm. proven that they're going to keep taking care of us, and it's not just us. We've talked to other owners; they have the same stories that we have. I had this issue, Alliance took care of it. I had this issue, Alliance took care of it. Yes. You know, they took care of it fast. They were professional. The A-team was always respectable. Even when we as the customer are sometimes not very respectful, Yeah. they keep their cool, they keep their composure, they talk you off the ledge, <laughs> Yes. and then they get you fixed. Uh -huh. So no, we have no regrets no. at all. Uh, if we were gonna buy another rig today, it would be an Alliance RV. And I'm really excited to see the new model that they're debuting yeah i like the layout oh god <laughs> <laughs> just say it it's a pretty rig yeah so that's it that's our spiel on alliance rv well, yeah and we just wanted to make sure everybody understands that it is not 100 percent manufacturers problems yeah when owners have issues it is there are so many other names that put these things together. Yeah. But we're quick to jump on the person who assembles it all. Yeah. And that's not really fair. And it's not fair. It's not fair at all. Yeah. Well, I hope you got something out of this video. Leave us a comment if you have anything to say about anything that we just talked about. <laughs> Let us know if you're thinking about getting into an Alliance RV and stick around for a few more seconds because we're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description mm -hmm. of this video. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>